Hi Squiddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel, to another video, to another article with me, your girl Doreen. So buckle up and let's take this ride. Um, the title of this video's article is Why Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had to return $7 million in wedding gifts. Oh my God. $7 million of wedding gifts. Oh well guys seven million <laughs> this is unbelievable um it involves royal protocol um a royal wedding doesn't happen every day which is why these kinds of celebrity nuptials are so highly anticipated and while the main component of these events typically aren't open to the public, that never stops people from lining the streets, hopeful for a glimpse of the royal couple of the hour, on their way to and from their ceremony. That was certainly the case on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding day on May 19, 2018. Thousands of their fans stepped out to cheer on the bride and groom as they arrived in sleek cars and even stayed to watch the newlyweds depart in a horse-drawn carriage. But they did more than fill the streets of Windsor and shout their well wishes. Many passerby acted like true wedding, uh, wedding guests and brought gifts. Some even sent their presents to the pair before the big day. Oh, that's so amazing. Um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were unable to accept the ma majority of these gifts. Prior to the celebration, Kenningston Palace released an official statement that told fans that if they hoped to give the couple a memento, it needed to be sent to Kenningston Palace for review, not tracked out to win so. Um, there was a protocol based reason for this. Members of the royal family are not technically able to receive gifts from the public or companies that could be construed as advertising. The fundamental principle governing the acceptance of gifts by members of the royal family is that no gifts, including hospitality or service, shall be accepted, which would or might appear to place the member of the royal family under any obligation to the donor. Explain the, the official guidelines from the royal family. Oh my god. As a result, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex team ultimately needed to return seven million dollars worth of wedding gifts in weeks following their nuptials. Oh my god. Seven million dollars worth of gifts. And this this is just the ones they returned. I wonder I wonder how much they they were left with. You know, this is just what they returned, guys. This just proves to us how much Harry and Meghan were popular. And I remember at that time, they were literally blowing in the UK, you know, before the British media took over the reins and, you know, tried to turn the public against Harry and Meghan. I'm telling you, these, these people were loved, you know. And you can see how much lies um, can destroy a good thing, you know? How much lies can, you know, can just destroy the love that people had on on this couple. Because we know they loved Harry and Meghan. They did. But when the British media took over, when some royals felt threatened and they were like, we need to calm down this storm, you know? Um, we need to regain our position in the popularity. They decided to create all sorts of drama around Harry and Meghan, which, you know, divided the people, you know. The people who genuinely knew that they liked Harry and Meghan, they were suddenly lost. You know, they were suddenly like, I, I cannot like these people anymore. And that's why, again, it was necessary for the Harry and Meghan docuseries to be made, you know to give the truth a fighting chance, you know, um, to help the people that had been lied to, you know, the people that had been manipulated into um, hating Harry and Meghan, 
to see the truth for a chance for them to choose for themselves what path they really needed to take but guys seven million dollars worth gifts were returned seven million dollars that's crazy those are just crazy numbers they were however able to accept several donations which they had publicized before the big day contributions were sent to a myriad of charities the couple felt passionate about you know what charities that the couples felt passionate about and here you can and here you can clearly say, see where the, the passion of Harry and Meghan lies. You know, we cannot say that they just began to be passionate about certain things once, once they left, you know, the royal family. No. When you hear um, Scotty's little soldiers, you just think about Harry. You know, you just think about um, his passion for veterans. You know, and I'm so glad that even, you know, in them... And I'm so glad that from the word go, you know, from the word go as a couple, as a married couple, they were able to to support causes that really matter to them. Of course, like any other bride and groom, the pair did receive physical gifts on their wedding day, one of which Meghan wore regularly in the months after the event. Glamour reported in 2018 that the Duchess was particularly Fond of the diamond tennis bracelet that King Charles gave her, that King Charles gave her to mark the occasion. Um, she donned the she donned the bubbles for the majority of her post wedding tour to Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand, which is when a correspondence confirms that it had in fact been a, been a present from the bride's father-in-law. I believe this just shows um, a certain role that had his father. Um, King Charles must have played for Meghan on her wedding day because we know that she he stood not only um, as a father to Charles but he also stood in the gap for um, Meghan's father who during that time he had just taken the opportunity to betray Meghan the opportunity to chase Cloud in the name of Meghan and he couldn't even show up on her wedding day you know obviously on that day Meghan was going was just going through it and she needed a father figure she needed her father by her side but he was nowhere to be seen he was out chasing cloud you know he was out saying how megan you know refused to invite you know him to her wedding which was obviously a lie so she was going through a tough period at that time and um king charles having um stood you know in that gap really meant a lot for megan you know and i believe that's why that was the sentiment behind her you know wearing the bracelets and even a few months ago in 2023 she was spotted wearing the same bracelet which shows that in spite of everything that went wrong in spite of you know king charles not standing up for harry and megan you know in certain areas in spite of him in those specific moments not showing up as a father to harry and megan at one point he did that you know at one point he filled gaps you know he stood for his son and he stood up for megan at one point he did that and i believe that in this life we shouldn't you know we shouldn't focus on the bad things at all times if we can let's focus on the good things let let us focus on the good things that you know people human beings do for us you know and they believe for megan that's what she tries to do day in day out every time she remembers the royal family every time she remembers um members of the royal family she just wants to remember and embrace the good moments that she had with them oh but it's it's amazing seven million dollars worth gifts returned you know i i honestly need them i honestly need these writers to give us numbers you know for their gifts that remained <laughs> because seven million dollars worth of gifts returned ah that's that's just unbelievable Woo! 
people must have loved Harry and Meghan. You know, people must have loved them. Anyway, um, until the next video, bye bye.